Now, the Ukrainian President Zelensky is continuing to lead the country despite the invasion. When Russian media reported that he'd fled the capital, Kyiv, he posted a video saying he hadn't. When America offered him the chance to flee the country, he replied, I need ammunition, not a ride. Ros Atkins has more now about Ukraine's wartime leader. On Friday, Ukraine's President Zelensky addressed the nation. The enemy has marked me down as number one target. My family is the number two target. They want to destroy Ukraine politically by destroying the head of state. Mr Zelensky is facing down a nuclear power. Four years ago, he was a comedian with a TV series. He played a character who accidentally becomes president. That became reality when, with no political experience, he ran for office and he won. It was a landslide victory. It promised to tackle corruption and it promised something new. I will vote for Zelensky because there is hope that this man, who comes from the people, can better understand us and break the system that exists in the country. But to his critics, this was a man without the necessary substance. I don't think he or the other candidates will stand up to Putin. They'll just have a laugh, drop to their knees and give him Ukraine. That hasn't happened. As the Russian military gathered on Ukraine's border, President Zelensky was visiting his troops and sending this message. We're just speaking about our independence. That's it. That we are deciding what we want. We are deciding what we'll do. Days later, a man who once made people laugh was leading them against an invasion. And while Russia bombarded the capital on Friday, for a time there was speculation about the president's whereabouts. Russian state media claimed he'd fled the country. He hadn't. We are all here. Our soldiers are here. The citizens of our country are here. We are all here protecting our independence, our country, and it will continue to be this way. This was outside the president's office in central Kiev on Friday evening. He would warn this night will be difficult, very difficult, but the morning will come. The night was difficult. Russia's onslaught continued. Morning would come too. And as it did, we heard from the president again. Listen, I am here. We will not lay down our weapons. We will defend our state because our weapon is our truth. Putin wants control of Ukraine. President Zelensky stands in his way. And with danger all around, reports emerged the Americans had offered an evacuation. To which Mr Zelensky replied, I need ammunition, not a ride. In the middle of all of this, the president raised the stakes further, tweeting, it's a crucial moment to close the long-standing discussion once and for all and decide on Ukraine's membership in the European Union. But as the president looks west, his capital city hosts an invasion by Russia to the east. Back in 2019, it was hosting a celebration. The new president told his supporters, I will never let you down. He can't have imagined that promise would be tested like this.